Hello gamers, welcome back to Idiosyn's Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins, Parte 137, Part 137. That's right, you heard that right. If you're watching this right now, it's probably 10 years from now when I'm already an international superstar. Probably on Twitch. I, I, I don't know, YouTube might be dead. I, I might have come in at a really bad time. And that, that's a lot of baggage for me right now. But, hey, let's not depress the video. Let's move right on. Let's keep trying to chip away at this damn Fort Blue Bastards. Which is honestly like the hardest section that I've found in the game thus far. I think it primarily has to do with that upset of guard positions that gets caused by that limp-wristed Fayum Rebellion. Where they send in like eight men that get slaughtered within a minute. I don't know, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just the fact that I'm not leveled enough, and I'm stubborn, and I'm subjecting all of you to this. But yeah, enjoy the show. Ooh, baby. I love marking every single guard every time I die. Never gets old. Really adds a layer of authenticity. I think. Well, I'm not getting that guy. He saw me, but the second I entered the restricted area, he didn't see me anymore, which is probably the most appropriate time for him to see me. No, you don't! Let's just rig that, so these jokers don't try anything in the future. I really should have gotten the ability assassination loot earlier, because I, I can't tell you how annoying it is. To need extra arrows or you know want to collect the loot from an enemy and have to wait for the glitchy ass game to drop the loot bag like up to 30 seconds after he dies an assassination loot just you literally just see the loot like kind of like spirit itself into your inventory pouch it's unreal Get fucked! Get fucked! I think this is legit how I kill him. Get fucked! Oh look, I even caught him on fire that time. 242 headshot crits, man. That's what life's all about. I literally think that the Predator Bow Guided Arrow ability is the best one in the entire game. Nothing even comes close. Maybe the health respawn? Yeah, but I got him! I finally fucking did it! Holy shit! I can hardly believe it, it's over. I'll come back and pillage this place later. You guys have seen enough of this fort. Man, the rebellion wasn't even over when I killed him. It ended like a second afterwards. Amazing. Oh wait, no, there's still one guy out there. Soon to be dead. Oh wait, no, it looks like they're all dead. Never mind. We gotta get out of this place. If it's the last thing we ever do. We gotta get out of this place. Baby, pee pee, me and you. I don't know that song. What the? What a profusion of whistles. Oh my god. That poor rebel. They samurai slash him. Hey, Look clear. Hey. 
Looks clear. Just a dead rebel mannequin we put up in the middle of the street to perhaps encourage other rebels to come in and lose their lives. Get fucked! He never pulls him around the corner the right way. I mean, it's an actual feature of the game. It doesn't even work well. That's my problem with this game, dude, is that, like, the things that they intended to do, they didn't even do all the way. Like, how do you... How do you, as a company which makes millions and millions of dollars, justify that? when you work on a project for two fucking years from a base engine that you've had for fucking years I don't know, someone can correct me on that. Maybe this game doesn't run the same engine as previous Assassin's Creed games. Let me look that up. A C O oh, caps lock. A C O engine let's find out what these goofballs have been up to for the past 730 days oh wait that this has, that wants me to look up the engines for ac units or some shit oh rebels are still alive that guy is fucking huge what the hell quick quick the video is about to end i gotta look this up gotta get out of this place if it's the last thing I ever do. Okay, this game uses the Anvil Next 2.0 engine. It has been used for three Assassin's Creed games. It has been used to develop Unity, Syndicate, and Origins. Okay, having never played Unity and Syndicate, I have to say I don't know too much about it, but I can only imagine that previous iterations of this franchise run on the Anvil Next 2.0 engine had to be just as buggy, if not buggier, than this game. That's probably a safe presumption, right? So, yeah. Fuck them, man. We're like Anvil Last 2.0. Oh, sick to moderate burn. Alright, alright, that's the end of the video. I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.